I'm Meg Hall and I'm a chef and caterer in Los Angeles. And no event is complete without a killer app. Thanksgiving can be such a big meal, so I like to start with butternut squash shooters. Little shots of warm soup to get everybody excited about a great meal and it's not too filling. I'm gonna show you the simple steps involved in creating this light and delicious killer app that'll leave your guests asking for more. The most important ingredient in this whole recipe is obviously your butternut squash. When you pick them out, make sure that they feel heavy for their size, there are no mushy parts to it, and it looks really nice, fresh, and firm. First thing you're gonna do is get your squash ready for the oven. You're going to go ahead and cut it in half, and then in half again. There you've got your four quarters. Make sure you get all the seeds out. Next thing you're gonna do is lightly brush your squash with extra virgin olive oil. Now a very important part to roasting these is adding your kosher salt. Give it a light sprinkle and some freshly ground black pepper. Make sure your oven is on at 350 degrees. It's been about 45 minutes. Now let's see if it's fork tender. Grab a regular dinner fork and stick it into the flesh and the squash and it should go right through until it hits the skin. Now that the squash is done, it's time to scoop out the flesh and put it straight into the blender. Let's get the spices in. Starting out with about half a teaspoon of ground sage, another half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a full teaspoon of cumin, and same with the garlic, a nice hefty pinch. Squash tends to really soak up the salt, so add more than you think you need. So it's almost like two big pinches. Now let's crack in some fresh black pepper. Should be enough. And now it's time to add the chicken stock. This really helps with the consistency. This is about two cups. It's nice and warm and it really ties the soup together. So add it until it hits almost to the top of your squash. Let's turn on the blender and make our soup. And remember, you've got to really blend this because people are shooting the soup straight into their mouth. So they don't want any chunks and it's got to be silky smooth. Remember, you want a soup, not a puree. Let's taste it. Oh. That is perfection. Let's get it in the shot glasses. Part of the benefit of putting it into a squeeze bottle is that it's gonna be nice and clean sides on the shot glasses, because remember, presentation is key. Here's the finished product. You've got your tray full of steaming, gorgeous soup shooters with a vibrant fall color, a nice floral garnish, and now you're ready to kick off your Thanksgiving dinner. Enjoy. Keep watching for another taste of Yum TV.